Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Conversations with Landon. Nice. Today's guest. What's your name again? Uh, my name's Gavin. I thought you knew that. Oh shit! You're right. So, Gavin. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um. Well, I'm. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh I'm from Texas, cool. you know, born and raised. Sweet. Yeah, it's awesome there. Lots Sweet. of uh, lots of dip. <laughs> Tastes yeah. good. Yeah, and uh, I'm here now at Pratt, and I'm a I do 2D animation. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot to tell you, I'm at Pratt now, audience. Um, <laughs> I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Born uh, and raised. No, <laughs> I was. I'm actually from Maryland, but I'm in I'm in New York right now my buddy gavin here i uh i'm gonna tell a story about how we met oh it's good. very romantic uh it is I, cute i cop some merch from i look like little bill well more specifically his alternate account i was smoking mid and it was a shirt that was in the bleach anime font that says i love smoking mid and then a mug it's actually right over there it says uh man may i please have some coochie and there's a little boy on it holding his hand out <laughs> So I posted a picture of me using it with like a dumb little meme. I tagged the guy who I bought it from, and he retweeted it. And then Gavin sees this tweet, checks out my uh, bio, sees him going to Pratt, and then we start hitting up through the DMs. Yeah, so I slid in. Yeah, and it was successful actually. It was pretty good. I'd, I'd say that you slid in pretty fucking good. Sweet. It was quite well. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here we are. And uh, now we're here, and I'm uh, I'm on the show now. Mm-hmm. Not very familiar with the show. Well, this is the fourth episode. Really? Um, I've had three before this one, all of which just like friends back home. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, now I'm gonna start doing it with people in New York. That's a good idea. Yeah, and there's it's really just kind of like a conversation, hence the title. Conversations with right. Landon exactly. Hamilton. 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 Bump. Two. Okay, I don't think anyone's gonna get that. Uh, yep, that's uh, that's what we do over here with <laughs> inside jokes, right, guys? Hell yeah. Um, well, tell me a little bit about your animations. Uh, well, I've been uh, making animation since I was about thirteen. I have this one. My first animation is called "Conversation with a Stoned Mud Kit." No shit, really. Yeah, no, you haven't seen that one. I haven't. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I keep it. Uh, I keep it to myself mostly because yeah. it's horrible. I can tell from the title. <laughs> no, he's stoned. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Does, and then uh, does he say, "Do you like mud kips?" No. Uh, Is that a meme? Yeah, it's see, an old it, one. Uh, these are memes that I just don't get. It's really old. So oh, really? I don't blame you. Okay, good. Yeah, for once, to not <laughs> blamed on this. And then I um. I made very other various other cartoons, including uh, the Big Dick Bear one, which is my uh, that's my best one I so love far. That. And then there's one called Little Koopy, which is another one about a little uh, soup bear. I think I've seen that one. That one's pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. And then um, uh, another one about uh, a bad dream, and then. Uh, some other ones that I can't remember, but they're equally as epic. Oh, and the one with the cat, uh, who gets pulled over for having weed. Sweet. <laughs> anyway. Stoned. Mud kit. Where can uh, someone find these fine works of art? Oh, I, uh, I have a Twitter account. It's, uh, it's Gilf Gavin. It's like a MILF, but uh, my, name, my name is G. Well, no, Gilf is like grandma. Grandma, like but that's it. not no. It's it's just because it's a G. Like oh, Gavin. I thought I thought it was like you were really into grandmas. Oh, that's uh, embarrassing. <laughs> Maybe well, I. I don't know why you made that your Twitter handle. Well, I can't change it now. <laughs> it's it's, it's also your stuck. YouTube channel name. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel that I don't upload to, so you could check that out as well. That has some other epic videos yeah. for you to see. But yeah, it's not like grandmas or grandpas. <laughs> it's like a Gavin, because that's my name. But I guess Wait, it's up to interpretation. What's your name? Uh, do I know you, actually? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, we haven't started classes yet. Actually, tomorrow they start. We've been here for about a week. Mm-hmm. 
Um, just been cool and balling, going to mandatory orientation events. Uh, yeah, it's been really fun. Lots yeah. of swag there. Lots of swag there. Hell yeah. Um, well, we went to this one show. It was not mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> this it was by choice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it was called um, Sex Rules. Not like... What we thought it was was, like, sex rules! But it was actually called, like, sex rules. Like, rules for sex. <laughs> um, we, it's it's a comedy show, but it's also, like, you know, knowledge positive, use a condom kind of thing. So, we get into it. We, we pop in. We roll through with the, with the crew. Um, <laughs> and, uh, basically, it's just this... It's, a woman and she's doing a little routine whatever you know no big deal but the most entertaining part of this event was probably the group of girls sitting next to us yes uh, we learned later in the show that they're upperclassmen because uh which is uh, actually more embarrassing to yeah. them actually yeah because uh well the lady was like any upperclassmen or blah blah and they're like we're here we're over here we're right here they stood up like five times at least oh and stood up over here they stood up they stood yeah. up too uh before the show started they all started chanting sex 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 it was really funny yeah it was cool actually it made <laughs> me want to like uh learn about sex <laughs> and the rules that apply to it oh yeah for sure um, after every like joke or comment or any sound made by the comedian, <laughs> they would just like comment along with it, like, "Oh yeah, uh huh." <laughs> you tell him, sister, and our personal favorite word. <laughs> word has word. become the most uh, uttered word. Nice uh, among our group. It's kind of. of it's all I can say. It's a problem at this point. Yeah, it's kind of... It's getting to that point where it's just annoying. Oh, it's like... Really? Well, not... Oh, really? I mean... Word, <laughs> huh? <laughs> not... not Word? It's getting there. Okay, that's fair. I'm not saying you're It'll annoying. get there. It'll it will. There. Yeah. It definitely will. Probably a soon. A lot of our inside jokes are just a couple words. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I feel like they're going to die out very quickly. Anyways... Uh, I, I can take it. Uh, I can take the floor from here. Yeah, actually, nuts, so sex nuts. rules. Um, we were learning about uh, different variations of uh, masturbation for females and males. Not so much males. She was like, "Well, you can get a um, what's that? What's that thing that that people fuck the the fleshlight? The fleshlight. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can get that, but." <laughs> Her personal favorite was to go and uh, get 10 condoms. Yes. And she said that the first condom... Oh, you also have to have a huge bucket of Astro Glide. That's her personal favorite lube. A tub. A huge tub, which <laughs> is, let me just say, amount. is not necessary, even <laughs> remotely, for any normal person. Unless you're, like, eating it. <laughs> Okay, continue. Right, continue. and um, she said the first condom, oh, I think you're supposed to poke a hole in it. Perhaps, I don't know. Perhaps. I, I think you are. Okay, and you put some lube in it. So first condom, she said lube. Second, no lube. Third, lube. Jesus. Okay. Fourth, no lube okay. and then uh etc except she didn't just say etc she she went through everyone she went through everyone up yeah. to 10 yeah yeah and you're supposed to put them all on your penis i think yes and then <laughs> uh just start uh jerking off i believe with vaseline oh vaseline yeah cause, wow because vaseline reacts to the latex oh yeah and makes it pop yeah. and apparently uh, if it pops you nut i think <laughs> I think. I don't really know. I don't it's, know how she knew this. You're supposed to last until the end. Yeah, which uh, I don't know why she... It was weird. Yep. The fact that she is giving us uh, these instructions. And also, I don't know when a person would do this here at Pratt. When you share a room with another person, <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. I mean, for my case right now, it's, it's a little special because my roommate's visiting home. He lives an hour away for the weekend. But... Not many people have this, uh, uh, you know, luxury. 
Yeah, very true. Most of the time when they're in the room, they're with another person. Even if you're in the bathroom, it has no lock. So, uh, and it's, it's shared with another room. Oh, another room of, of two more, and in my case, three more people Yeah, that can walk in and just say what's up while you're, uh, <laughs> you're strapping on the doms. <laughs> However, the condoms are free here, yeah. so you can take them and hang them up in your room, uh, <laughs> as I do. <laughs> Sex rules. You almost took that one on the street. Oh, yeah. Because that... it was a different colored wrapper than the ones you Yeah, have. I think it was black. It was black, yeah. yeah. I almost got it, but it was dirty and, and open. open. <laughs> it was open. An open condom on the street that was dirty is probably not something that I would take, even though I could have and hung it up. That, that would have been awesome. That night, actually, after the show, in my bathroom, I found a blown-up condom tied into a balloon. It I just, thought you said you found a few of those. No, just one. Oh. It was just the one. Oh. There were a couple, like, scattered about, <laughs> like, just lying on the floor. I think oh. maybe it was a prank, or maybe they were just dumb. I think it's the <laughs> second one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was just really funny. I walked in, and I, I almost, like, had a heart attack. Because you were laughing so hard. I was hard. laughing so hard, yeah. I bet. I it can was, only imagine uh, what it would look like was, blown up. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's quite the funny image actually. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Erin, um, when we left the show, she had a big box of condoms, mostly female condoms. Yeah, and Erin uh, probably grabbed about eight of them. <laughs> He just dug his hands in there. And they were all female, like eight they were female all condoms. Eight female condoms. Which I don't know what he would be doing with those. Maybe perhaps using them in the 10 condom challenge well, they're really large they're like oh yeah they're huge penis. you'd have to tie it around <laughs> to the base i think he just got them because they were free actually and, and they were fun it was funny because yeah. of the condom <laughs> and sex rules he was like guys look condoms oh and yeah we laughed like really hard i actually did i died no i actually did think it was funny for real how he had all those condoms it was epic yeah sweet <laughs> uh -huh, yeah um fuck other stuff that's happened let's talk about your buddy elijah oh and i'd rather not but i will okay so we went to target which is about uh one point one point let's say one and a half miles okay and uh, we walked all the way there, and we went to Target, and then we got our stuff and left. And uh, when we left, we were about three minutes out of the door before some random kid comes up to me and says, Hey, man, I like your shirt. Uh, and then he like went to shake my hand, and I was like, Oh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> and then he's like, What's your name, bro? I'm like, My name is Gavin. He's like, Cool, I'm Elijah. And I was like, Awesome. <laughs> Like, are you going to sell me something? Because that's kind of been, like, par for course here. Right. But no, he just uh, he just wanted to hang out and talk to us. Sweet. Talk to me, actually. Nice, nice. No, it was, he was, yeah. And he, cool. he really liked movies. He talked about movies a lot. He likes the Goofy movie, uh, Incredibles. He liked Get Out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, those movies Black were... Black Klansman, oh, I think, he was liked, on that Yeah, list. he liked Black Klansman. Or maybe he wanted to see it. I don't. I don't really remember. It was all kind of a blur. I was just like, "Haha, yeah, right. yeah, nice." Right, right. And then um, uh, he says, uh, "Yo, what, what phone provider do you have?" <laughs> and I was like, uh, "AT and T." And he was like, "Oh, I got T-Mobile." I'm like, "Cool, <laughs> I, I guess." And yeah. then uh, he's like, uh, "Yo, can I get like get?" It? He walked all the way back to campus with us. Right, that's like a twenty minute walk at least. It was yeah, it was a definitely a long walk uh -huh. the entire way, and he just came with us. I don't know what his like original plans were, or maybe this is like normal for him. Maybe he just hangs out by the target and follows people home. Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I think he just wants to talk to someone. Yeah, and then he uh, he was like, "Oh, this is a really nice campus," and then he was like on the campus with us. I'm like, "Oh." You're, uh, you're coming inside. That's cool. Yeah. He's like, can I get your Instagram? I was like, yeah, sure, man. And then he was like, yo, uh, what's your number? And I was like... Uh, you gave him... And I gave him my gave phone him number. You gave him phone number, yes. I thought about not doing it. But then you were like, but, no, let me give him my phone number. I mean, I just... I don't know why. I assume the best in him. I assume why the best in people. That? I don't know. You, you don't... I thought about it. I thought about not doing it. And then I'm like, this guy just seems like he wants a friend. 
So I'll, I'll just give it to him, maybe. Yeah, but the thing is, you blocked him right after. Yeah, because you guys scared me. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't, Eli will. That's true. No, I appreciate it very much. It was definitely a good move. And then he texted me. I blocked him on my phone, but I still got the text on my iPad. Sweet. And he said, hey, what's up, man? Um, he didn't hey, man. Respond. Oh, hey, man. It was, hey, man. Hey, what's up, man? And he didn't say anything. And I didn't say anything. And I deleted it without even opening it. Sweet. Yeah, no. And then uh, he hasn't texted me back since then. That was Friday. It's Sunday now. Uh-huh. A good full like time has passed, so maybe this will blow over. Maybe. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. If it doesn't, it will be a uh, problem. Yeah. A bigger problem above me. I will have to get some uh, other people involved. Hell yeah. We'll keep that updated. Yes. <clears throat> well, what did we do last night? Oh, what did we do last night? We did something. All right. Uh, it was, in fact, uh, something. Was it something that I enjoyed? Kind of. Like, uh, maybe? Well, first off, well, we did, well, we have a little crew that we've formed. Um, here at Pratt. Here at Pratt. It's, it's a group of five people. It's me and then Gavin and a couple of his roommates and sweetmates and then this guy named Oliver. And together we form <laughs> the Balls Dudes. <laughs> That's our name here at Pratt, the Balls Dudes. <laughs> We are really funny. I don't know if you know that or not about us, but we're like a really funny group of individuals. Uh, yeah, ball suits. Um, <laughs> well, that, I, I think it was funny how you said it uh, when you went to the SCAD thing that you had the, uh, the, food, the boys, food boys, and right. y'all were like really popular, and everyone was like, oh, who are the food boys? Yeah. And uh, at Pratt, nobody knows us, and no one gives a shit about the balls dudes. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Well, I think we should explain the origin of the name before we get into this tale. Okay. Um, Well, uh, one of the mandatory orientation events, there was, like, just a slide filled with cat memes. (laughs) Like, I forget what the fuck kind of point she was making, but there was a slide filled with cat memes. Like One LOL which, cats yeah, like, was the ending uh, like sentence she said, but I don't know what anything else she said was. Yeah, I was too I, busy like, brothelling. Right. Yeah, as soon as she said lol cats, I was like, <laughs> bah. Uh, one, of, one of the images that was on, this, on the projector said, are those dot 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 balls <laughs> with a picture of a cat like with its mouth open? Like surprised at the fact that they think they're seeing balls. <laughs> And then the word balls just kind of, like, circulated within our, like, common, you know, <laughs> vernacular. Yeah. Our diction. And then, uh, you know, when we deci- we we kept thinking last night, we gotta get a name for ourselves. Like, we need, a, like, a crew name. And then, I forget who suggested it, but <laughs> I think it was you, Gavin, yeah. right? Gavin says... The balls dudes. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes me laugh every time. No, no one really went for it that much. There was like it just kind of grew on. Like us. nice, and uh, once the group chat was made, I just kind of decided to uh, change it to the the name to the balls dudes. <laughs> and by that point, it was too late. <laughs> you can't really mess with it by then. Right. It is. It's it set, is set in stone. stone. Yeah, nice. exactly. Well, what we did last night, the balls dudes got together, <laughs> and uh, we've been watching movies like two nights in a row now yeah the previous night it was some weird ass alexif it was yeah alexif alexif (laughs) old french animation that was kind of weird and creepy uh but last night we watched ponyo uh yeah good we had fun with that yeah it was a good one we didn't finish it of course but uh Mm -hmm. it was uh, kind of beyond us we couldn't we took some time to like take notes and research before we finish it again because yeah. it was a little bit above our like level well what had happened was i'd never seen ponyo before and i saw a little ponyo fish girl and i was like she's cute <laughs> i was like really excited about it yeah and you then, really thought she was cute I, never, I really thought she was cute and um uh everyone thought it was really funny cause, <laughs> like, kind of in a pedophilia kind of way like oh She's cute. <laughs> In fact, Aaron said it exactly like that at least a dozen times that night. Uh, I'd say more. More. He said it a dozen times, like right after you said it. Yeah. 
And then we just kept saying it over and over again. Everyone. She is cute. She is cute. Uh, so that yeah. that's added to our diction. Mm-hmm. And the best thing to say is uh, saying it on the subway. And right. Wh- we it was me, Oliver, and um, Wesley, and Aaron and, decided to stay home. Yeah, I was. And there then as Landon well. was across on the other uh, bench, on the other seats, with random strangers, mm-hmm. particularly these two women. And yeah. I decided to go. She's cute, like to Landon, like right. to be epic. But like, <laughs> it is very possible that those girls thought that I was referring to one of them. It was, I wasn't. I feel like that's exactly what they thought. <laughs> and they thought, that, wow, that guy's really cool. I want to be friends with him. <laughs> like, how do I get into the balls, dudes? Hell yes. But anyway. What we did last night. Yeah. Why, why were we on that subway train last oh. night? Like, midnight. <laughs> it was about... Uh, we were watching Ponyo, and then we played some Jackbox, which is uh, also pretty uh par for course which are with our group Mm -hmm. and we decided like let's go do something yeah oliver was like i want to get cinnamon cinnamon rolls cinnamon cinnamon rolls rolls, yeah etc that's what he wanted yeah and i was like well i don't want that at all but like we can go do anything we want because you know we're in college yeah no curfew baby no it's really awesome Mm -hmm. and uh i was like all right let's go and then we looked up a pie place i think yeah which that doesn't... Eventually. Okay. First, we tried to go to a place, did we? I really don't remember. I actually don't remember what the original uh, destination was. No, but neither. We were Wesley to took Ma- care of that. We were going to Manhattan from Brooklyn. <laughs> Getting uh, on the train. Through a train, yeah. It was about 11-something at this point mm-hmm. when we were out. And we when we were walking on the street, I decided to ask every single person that I saw... Um, hey, do you want to go get cinnamon rolls with us? Yeah, and one really time funny. we actually caught their attention. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we just saw you guys. I'm like, oh, you want to go get cinnamon rolls with us? And then immediately I chip in saying, thank you for your help. God bless you. <laughs> and I moved everyone along. I did not realize that they'd actually knew that group and they were not strangers. Oh, I didn't know them. But uh, uh, Gavin didn't did. know them. But yeah, like a couple of the people in the balls dudes did. <laughs> uh but yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, so we got on a train and uh, we paid our money to get on this train to go to a pie place or something. Yes, I think. Yes, and we had to get on two trains or was it three? Two. Two, two trains. Two up. Two up on the way there, and we ended up like in Little Italy. Yeah. And by this point, it is past midnight for mm-hmm. sure. But yes. we thought that it closed at one. So we're trying to find this place, but apparently it is closed, and so is everything else on the street. It is past midnight. Yeah. Everything that's open is like a bar. Yeah. So um, an idea was brought that we should go try and find this random cafe that was about a mile away. Mm -hmm. Um, But me and Wesley were really not digging that idea, so we decided, oh, there's a McDonald's right there in Chinatown. Let's go hit that up. And uh, we're like, all right, we'll go sit and uh, get a little McFlurry, whatever. And we went in, and the seats were all gone, and the upstairs was closed off. Yes. So I ordered a large soda, and (laughs) we sat in the corner. (laughs) Or two of us sat, and two of us stood, because there weren't enough seats. It was really cool, and definitely worth the hour train ride. It was fun. And then uh, I think we got back around two or so. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and it was all to go to McDonald's, which Mm -hmm. we could have done in about 45 minutes. Yes. The whole trip included, without (laughs) paying $6. Yeah, for the train. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's just hanging out in Manhattan. Yeah, just hanging out in Manhattan. (laughs) I live in New York, so it's kind of something we do. Hang out up there. Yeah, you know. You can't hang out in Manhattan. It really doesn't exist. No, unless you can, like... Unless you can do something. Unless you can, like... Getting into bars, I think, is also kind of essential Mm -hmm. when people say that. Which we can't. We cannot. We are all 18. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Can't drink yet. Sorry, law. (laughs) I'm not breaking you. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Just kidding. (laughs) Ha, balls, dudes. Common experience. Hmm. Not much to talk about there, other than that it was fucking horrible. Yeah. It was, it was garbage. It was a mandatory um, orientation session, basically on prompting us to write this 
I guess, pre-college essay, just about, like, not even about a book we read over the summer, but <laughs> it's kind of don't even have to it. reference you it. You really did not even need to read the book. Yeah. Like, they gave us two books. One is kind of referenced for this essay we're doing now. The other has not been talked about at all. Did you read it? I did. Oh, I'm I read sorry. both. <laughs> Front to cover. Did you like the Colossus of New York? I, yeah, okay. It was fine. Not, I'm not a fan. The Colossus of New York is just about, like, how New York uh, is different to each person, mm -hmm. and it's constantly changing, and it's like a metaphor for life and all that bullshit. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, we were given this prompt at the Common Experience to write an essay, like, okay, what's your New York, basically? Or, like, take an image and, I don't know, oh, yeah. make a story. Some bullshit. But I did the first prompt. Anyway, this common experience thing was basically teaching us how to use the, you know, academic website that they use to submit, um, you know, assignments. Uh, basic stuff like kind of reviewing plagiarism and giving a library tour was in oh, there. Oh, yeah. That was... Uh... That was... Horrendous. Awful. Well, yeah. basically, let's start from the beginning. Me and Gavin signed up for the same one, uh, and there are many, many sessions going on throughout the yeah, week. Every, there's 30-minute increments of mm -hmm. sessions, so there's a lot going on every day. Yeah. Which means they have to pretty much pull in every random faculty member that they possibly can to run this shit. Yeah, and that's what they did. Yeah. Uh, because when we got there, well, first off, the first room we went into, they had started late at the library, mm -hmm. bottom floor, in one of the classrooms. So there was already a thing going on, even though it was our, like, scheduled time. So we just had to, like, chill for a couple minutes. We get in, we just get on the computers, and they teach us how to do shit. And, like, okay, this is kind of fine. We spend maybe about an hour, not even, in there. No, not even. Yeah. And so then they're like, okay, now we're going to give you a tour of the library. And I was like, oh great this Fun. is gonna be really cool <laughs> and then <laughs> then this guy comes up he's like hi i work at the library and i'm gonna give you a tour of the library and everyone was like okay <laughs> and no one said anything no one like talked to the guy i don't think many people were paying attention because and he was also speaking very quietly very quietly it was a library but yeah but still a tour. it's a tour yeah it was quite a large group of people, probably t about 20, I'd say. Yeah, and no one really cared yeah. at all. They just <laughs> followed him Maybe and stood and dozed off for another One girl minutes. cared because she was the only girl that asked questions. Oh, yeah. And actually, fun fact about this girl, a little later on, maybe a couple days after, she saw me wearing that I Love Smoking mid shirt in the bleach anime font, saw it, thought it was just a bleach shirt, and she was like, dude, I love bleach. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Back to the story. Back to the story. He gives us a tour of the library. It takes forever. Uh, every floor, every nook and cranny. Like, uh, this is where, you know, we do dumb shit you don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> this and is where the big books are, was one of them. It was just really big books. <laughs> Like oversized, <laughs> like the pages would like fold out, like yeah. massive maps and shit. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. And then <laughs> afterwards, we get thrusted upon a new lady, and this lady takes us to this building, and then we go to we get split up in these two classrooms. At this point, me and Gavin are separated. Yeah, and uh, you know, that's never a good thing. No. <laughs> And we go into two separate classrooms, both of which are, like, doing the same thing. They just split up the group because it was pretty big. And we, I head in to my classroom, and it's these two guys, uh, Michael and I think Nick. Yeah, Nick. I, Nick. Nick's the one with the man bun, right? Yeah, he yeah. works at the library. And then Michael was, like, an actual professor there. And they were dying to get us to, like, <laughs> talk, participate share with the group yeah they're trying no to be was saying um, shit yeah they're really trying to be like dead poet society yeah but uh mostly the one guy michael right who was like this guy and anytime he would listen he would like grab his like hair and pull it back and then like have one hand in the air and he would oh, never yeah. look at you he would always look forward because he's really trying to like comprehend yeah your basic fucking answer <laughs> and then you'd be like oh okay 
okay. Or he'd like you'd be like, oh yeah, I'm from uh, I'm from New Jersey, and they'd be like, oh Claire from New Jersey, okay Claire from New Jersey, um share your thoughts please Claire. <laughs> She'd be like, what? <laughs> Pardon me. Oh uh, yeah, fuck yeah, uh, yeah. We were just now is where we're more getting into the prompt of it and like how to do research, research through Pratt's resources. And these fuckers were really trying their hardest to get us to talk, but no one wanted to say anything. Okay. Eventually, Gavin comes in the room with another girl because there was t- not enough seats in the other room. And I was like, cool. But there was an empty seat right next to me. Okay, I'm right by the door. Literally. The class classroom is like door and then chairs in front of door. Like, it's on the side of the room. I'm sitting literally next to the door. You see me as soon as you walk in. False. And then an empty chair next to me. Gavin goes to the opposite side of the room <laughs> and then sits down. And he looks over to me and he was like, uh, oh. <laughs> like, oops. I shitted. <laughs> I didn't see him, though, but it was just epic that at that point it was already pretty much set. Yeah, I couldn't you, you really get down. up. Yeah. I logged in and then I noticed. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Oh, something I never talked to you about. Uh, oh. Do you remember the girl that arrived late to like the first part? With the, the glasses and the dress? Yes. Yeah. She was weird. Yes, she was really weird. She arrived... 13... She might have had like a deeper voice than me. Yeah, she had a very <laughs> deep voice. Uh, she, w- well, first off, we had started late already. And then <laughs> like 15... On top of... <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, we were 15 minutes in... And she was like, oh, hi, I'm supposed to be here. I don't get that. Yeah. Like, we're paying a lot to go here. I know. And these are... It, it's you, the we, first week! We only have, like, four mandatory things. Like, maybe one a day. And she shows up, like, extra late. May, at least half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> at least. At the very least. And, you know, she's like, oh, go sit down somewhere. And she's like, okay. And none of the computers worked, so she had to just, like, hop from computer to computer until she was just, like, in the back. Yeah. I did not like her. I don't know. She didn't even do that much. I just was like, oh. I don't good. like you. Yeah, she sat down next to me, and I was like... Did she? Yeah. Oh, That I didn't was one even... of the computers she hopped around to. Oh, nice. Yeah. Anyway. That was epic. Yeah. So after the chat with the library person, Nick, and Michael, Michael takes us to... The writing room in North Hall. But on the way, we're all walking slow compared to him. Because, uh, you know, we don't want to fucking be there. And he's like, I can tell you guys are not from New York because you guys walk so slow. And he walks backwards as he says it. And no one says anything <laughs> or moves faster. We all I just... almost, I started to speed my pace up a little bit, but nobody else did. So I was like, all right, I'll... Uh... I'll hang back here with my fellow peers and be awesome. Everyone's like, shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah. So then we're brave, brave kids to just literally not change anything that they were doing. Yeah, just very stubborn. Um, so we go to this room. Apparently, we were supposed to have at least a pencil and a sheet of paper, which we didn't know. No, it was not. That information was not expressed to us before. Uh, and we get there, we sit down, Gavin, by the way, sits right next to the air conditioning. (laughs) It's like a, yeah, it is an air conditioning. I thought it was a fan at first. Oh no, it was like snow. Yeah, it was very cold. I was cold sitting next to him. I was getting the direct blast. Yeah. Anyway. So this guy's, he's talking again. We start doing writing exercises about like, I am here because. Mm Mm-hmm. And, you know, Which is the first sentence of the book. He's like, actually, you, yeah. Oh, or it's like, I'm here because I live here. I don't know about you. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and uh, that he read that and he's like, see, the very first sentence can be used. I'm like, cool. You didn't read this, <laughs> but that's all right. Oh yeah, that's kind of what I took from that. No, yeah, you just opened that book. You literally opened the book. Like, uh, I am here. You can use that. <laughs> And uh, there's a lot of silence in the room. He would ask us a question, and there would just be silence. And he would look at us, and we would all look at him. I tried not to make any gesture or nodding or anything. I tried to keep that to a minimum, because if you do, 
then you show interest, and therefore he will call on you to do something because he thinks you care. When um, yeah, on on the contrary, right? We don't care at all. Well, personally, I just kind of do that in general because I I don't know. I think do it's, what like nod. And no, like, yeah, normally I do too. Right, pretend that. But I I, I noticed the trend that <laughs> is going down. Personally, I don't mind. I don't mind talking in a group. It's just initiating it is kind of weird. When no, no it is. is when no, it's so silent. Yeah, no one says anything. I'm not going to be the one. You did do it once, though. A couple of times, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I remember, like, specifically at the end, he was like, any, like, feedback or whatever? Mm. And I was, like, kind of like, eh. <laughs> and he saw me going, like, eh. And he was like, you look a little skeptical. And everyone turns back. And I was like, well, it have been cool to know that, like, I don't know, what we were doing before <laughs> we got here. That would have been What we nice. needed. You know, if we needed a pencil or not. Uh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been epic. Okay. And he was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Because <laughs> apparently this was his first group. The group he did with us was the first time that he did it. Mm-hmm. Which so. is awesome. On its own level. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, uh, if you guys have any of me for English, then you're going to be talking a lot. Thank God that I don't have him for English. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind it. He seems like a nice enough guy. It's just the circumstances sucked. That's true. Because we were... Okay, something we haven't included. Uh, the entire thing was at least three and a half hours long. Mm-hmm. Maybe more. Maybe more. It was miserable. Yeah, we got Trapped. at like 5.40 or something. It was like three hours. Uh, like three hours, We got there. Minutes. Yeah, we got there at two. It started even later. Yeah. Oh, so and we got all, we got let out early as well. Yeah, and it yeah. was still that long. Apparently, there's supposed to be a twenty minute break in there. We so, said fuck that. So that Please means, let us out. Yeah. it's like you guys want a break? No, <laughs> definitely not. We want to leave. I don't need a. The only break I need is like the you know forever one. I'm <laughs> never coming back to any of these places. But yeah, it was it was epic. Yeah, simply. Simply. Okay. This is epic. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that was my common experience. Mm. It was a common one. It was... Yeah. Uh, the only thing common about this experience is that it was shitty and gay. That was epic. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. So, uh, that's, uh, that's been our week so far. For the most part. I think, I think we hit it pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, okay then. Uh, get the fuck out of my dorm. Do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to this episode of Conversations with Landon. Um, my name's Landon. This is Gavin. You want to plug your bullshit one more time? Uh, at Gilf Gavin on Twitter. That's it. That's all I need to plug. Cool. All right, boys. Uh, uh, G-A-V-I-N is how you spell my name. All right, um, and uh, G-I-L-F is how you spell Gilf. Uh, um, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Gilf Gavin on Twitter. T W I T T E R dot com. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, yeah. Next time, I think I might be talking to my roommate Griffin, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. But probably. If I do another one of these, that's what it'll be. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming out. Uh, I'm gay.